So being an RCRA is a very honorable position for me because I'll be the face of the community which entails a lot of responsibility along with it which makes me feel that I'm here for a purpose and the purpose being just that of Richmond College that is to educate and challenge students so that they can pursue a life of purpose and as a leader that is my main goal, my duty. As an administrator, it is my responsibility to ensure that all the documentation that the uh, that my supervisors expect of me is completed on time because we need to have consistent records of all activities and events that are taking place and for that purpose I need to be very meticulous and particular about ensuring that all the paperwork is completed and turned in on time. My next responsibility as a Richmond College Resident Assistant is to be a community builder and this is a very fun responsibility because just like being a resident assistant is it means a lot to me. Definitely being a part of a community means a lot for the residents too. So I need to make sure that they all can make the most of it and that is possible only if they live together in harmony as a community. And being the leader, that is my duty to make sure that all the differences are subsided and they understand, they come to understand each other in a way that they can make the most of each other's strengths and work together to cover each other's weaknesses. As a programmer, I'm required to make sure that all the activities and events that I plan for my residents are carefully chalked out and meticulously planned because I need to make sure that my residents can make the most of it and have fun just like I will have fun planning them. So uh, as a programmer, I will have to make sure that all my residents can learn from these events and, and at the same time have fun. And this is definitely a fun activity that I look forward to doing. Being a positive role model will require me to embody the change that I want to see in my residents and that is that I need to follow the rules first before I can tell them that they are supposed to follow it. I have to make sure that I am um, very particular about things, very um, optimistic in life and all the problems that I face, I need to deal with them strongly because I want my residents to do the same. So that is what I feel means to be a role model, that is to, um, to practice what you preach. So before I do anything, I need to embody that spirit and carry the attitude, the positive um, character that I want my residents to, um, to bring about or grow in themselves. And as I learn from them, I would definitely want them to learn from me too. The whole idea of being in an SSIR is to uh, be a part of a team and fostering that community building, that inclusiveness is a big part of my responsibility as a resident assistant. So when you work in a team, the group dynamics are very different as compared to when you're working individually and it can often be hard and challenging because human behavior is unpredictable but I guess it's fun too at the same time because I'm dealing with so many different kind of people who have different perspectives and views and there is so much to learn from each other that working together really covers up all, all flaws that people might have and team members get an opportunity to see a different side of um, the other person that they might not have otherwise had a chance to. So definitely team, working in a team brings out the best in everybody and um, there's so much to learn from each other. So as a policy enforcer, it's my duty to make sure that all the rules and regulations of Richmond College and of the University are followed and that will ensure the safety of all my residents. So for that, I must make sure that all of my um, residents first understand what are the rules and um, what regulations they're expected to follow and that they're expected to be responsible so that they can keep in mind and um, be disciplined themselves.